In this video we're going to make a bouncing ball. So I have a new document. I'm going to go ahead and rename layer 1 to ball. And I'm going to grab my oval tool and I'm going to draw a ball. And then I want to go ahead and make it a symbol because I'm going to add a motion tween to it. So I'm going to double click on it, right click, convert to symbol. I'll make sure it's a graphic symbol and I'm going to call it ball. Then I'll I'm going to go ahead and right click on frame 1 and insert, actually I'm going to create a motion tween. Then I want to go ahead in frame 24, I'm going to go ahead and put a keyframe. So I'm going to insert keyframe and I'm going to go ahead and choose all. Then I want to make a new layer. I'm going to rename it ground. I'm going to go ahead and move that layer to the bottom just because. And then I need to be back in frame 1 because that's where the blank keyframe is. And I'm going to draw a line to make it look like the ground. We'll pretend that's a ground. And I'm going to lock that layer because I don't want to make any changes to it on accident. So then I'll go back to the ball layer. I'll make a keyframe at frame 10. Then I'll make it the all type. And I'm going to grab my selection tool to move my ball down to the bottom so it's touching the ground. I'll make another keyframe in frame 11. And it's going to be all also. In this one, I need to make sure it's touching the ground, but I'm also going to use the free transform tool to squish it down. We'll pretend this is kind of like a dodgeball. So when it would hit the ground, it would kind of compress itself a little bit. And then in frame 24, it's already at normal size because I made the keyframe at the beginning. So then if I play this, you can see when it hits the ground, it compresses and it looks realistic.